Are you expecting a little one, but still want to incorporate that wardrobe staple jeans into your outfits? Maternity jeans can be really expensive to purchase in the stores, especially since you'll only be wearing them for a limited amount of time. And they're also really hard to find. There's not a huge market for them. So that's why I'm gonna show you how to upcycle and hack a regular pair of jeans to fit a stretchy belly band. So you can either thrift a pair or find some in your wardrobe. Just make sure that they are stretched denim and are your hip circumference so they will stretch over your hip. So take your tape measure to the thrift store to find the perfect pair, turn into maternity jeans. Using a stitch ripper, stitch rip the waistband off the entire front of the jeans from side seam to side seam. Make sure to stitch rip the belt loops off as well. You can use a lint roller to help you remove all those little threads from ripping. Now your jeans are ready to trim down. Using a ready to wear pair as an example to measure, the center front crotch is six and a half inches long. Measure six and a half inches up from the crotch point and mark. Then draw a smooth curve from shortened crotch length extending to each side seam. And trim. Slightly stretching the waistband, attach the waistband back onto the jeans by sandwiching the edge in between the two waistband pieces. Be patient with this step and don't be afraid to use a lot of pins. Also be sure to check on the wrong side to make sure you caught all of the edges before stitching. Now take to your machine and top stitch on the existing seam line. Before you start stitching, make sure you have a size 90 or 100 denim sewing machine needle installed, as well as matching top stitching weight thread to your jeans. I stitched around each of my waistband pieces and did up the button. Now it's time to attach the belly band. You can either lay a ready to wear pair over a piece of paper and trace the piece, or you can work from measurements. Mine are 13 inches long at the center front, eight inches long at the side seam, and four and a half inches long at the center back. Create a pattern piece connecting those curves and adding seam allowance. Cut out in a stretch fabric. If using a lighter weight jersey, like me, cut two. If you have a more stable spandex knit, just cut one. Make sure to notch your center front. Pin the bands together at the center back and stitch. You can use a serger like I am or a stretch stitch and stretch needle on your regular sewing machine. When stitching the top seam of the bands together, match up the center backs right sides together and sew with a piece of elastic in the seam for extra stability. Just slightly stretch the elastic as you sew. Flip the belly band so it's wrong sides together. Insert the band into the jeans with the band's lower edge extending past the jeans waistline seam. Match up the centers and sides. Make sure to check on the wrong side to make sure that the band is covering that waistband seam. To stitch, switch to a thread color that matches your denim and stitch in the ditch along the waistband seam. Also make sure to stitch your belt loop bottoms back onto the jeans. Love how these jeans turned out. Now I have the style of jeans with the comfort of a maternity pair of pants with my added belly band at just a fraction of the cost. And if you want to start from scratch, click the link below to see how I made these kind of more uh, loose fitting jeans from scratch if you don't want to upcycle a pair. So thank you for watching this episode of Style Revive where we upcycle jeans into paternity pants and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.